that, you know, just like us, meat is, uh, comes from an animal that's made of, you know, flesh, bones, veins, uh, you know, we're all animals, we all feel, um, you know, pain and suffering, we all want to live, uh, we don't want to go, uh, being dragged through a slaughterhouse and being dismembered and skinned alive. alone, uh, the, the cruelty facts that you know, animals are sometimes dismembered while still fully conscious at the slaughterhouse. Uh, people, people don't want to listen to that, so we have to use imagery and yeah. street leaders to get their attention so that they can, uh, you know, we can know what's going on. This is one of the quietest uh, protests I've been to, and I think that's completely appropriate considering what's happening in this building right now while we're outside paying our respects to the pigs. I was up in the studio and I looked down and I noticed that um, those, uh, well, what looks like the meat styrofoam trays were down here and I saw the sign for pet and I thought, well, I'll come down and see if I can lend a hand. I have been in the studio for about 14 or 15 years at this point. Okay, and when did the slaughterhouse uh, disturb well, you? Well, I mean, that's kind of a conflicting thing. The slaughterhouse has always been here and it's thanks to the slaughterhouse that the studio is still here, otherwise this would have been turned into condominiums. Mm -hmm. However, I'm a vegetarian and as such it's, especially in the winter time it's hard because you see all the smoke come out of the chimneys and that's obviously the burning mm -hmm. animal parts. And I knew that it was a slaughterhouse but the thing is the trucks arrive on the other side and on this side it's only the um, cooling trucks that actually leave with the packaged meat so I don't see the animals arrive. However, there was twice open trucks with animal parts that were just driving down the street and I had a nice view right onto all these unrendered animal parts and I just I uh, was rather disturbed by that. Today's protest was really dramatic. Uh, how, how did it feel like to be wrapped in cellophane right outside an abattoir? Well, I mean, I felt like a piece of meat, <laughs> I guess you could say, and that was the whole point, uh, to try and get people to make the connection that the meat that you're eating was once a live, living creature, a living creature that doesn't want to die just so you can eat it. You feel really hot and uh, how was your um, Actually, it wasn't too bad. Um, I mean, it's nothing compared to what those poor pigs go through. Uh, the transport laws are disgusting in Canada. Those pigs can be on a transport truck for up to 72 hours without any food or water. In the winter, they end up getting to the slaughterhouse. They're frozen to the sides of the trucks. They just cut them off. I mean, doing this is nothing compared to that. It's, it's horrible how, how we're allowed to abuse animals in this country. It, it really makes me sick. I think it, I've never been inside that slaughterhouse. I've seen footage on the inside of slaughterhouses and I think you would see um, your worst nightmare or your worst possible horror movie in real life. Because that's what's like behind those walls. And just like Paul McCartney said, if slaughterhouses had glass walls, yeah. everybody'd be a vegetarian. As human beings, we're supposed to feel love and caring for other humans, but also other animals. And if people actually knew how meat got to their plate, there's no way as a human being with a soul that you would be able to eat those animals. It just 
it's not right and you shouldn't be able to do it. Actually going across Canada, um, you know, from Ontario all the way to BC, um, with this with this shocking image reminding people that um, you know, whether it's a person, a cow, a pig or a chicken, flesh is flesh.